Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and tonight we are going to make an Easter DIY with these signs that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. There's a couple of them. They're great, but I want the backs right here. So I'm going to go over the material list with you and then I'll flip you around and show you what I've done. Okay. Okay. But first we have coffee. Mmm. Delish. Okay. Materials. I went on the internet and I just typed vintage rabbit. I came up with a couple different options. Um, but I've decided I'm going to go with this guy here. Look at him. Isn't he so cute? And I just cut him out. I didn't do a lot of fussy cutting. He's going to get attached to the egg. So you'll need something of that nature. Um, I got the Easter, Happy Easter Blessings kit from, um, oh, I need to clean this one up. The Happy Blessing, Easter Blessing letters, words, words, Lori, words from the Dollar Tree. And what I did, and I'll go over that with you too, I painted them to look rusty. This is for one sign, that bunny is for another sign. And I'm using Happy Easter paint, all different colors, um, a pencil, an X-Acto knife, paint brushes. I need my black paint pen from the Dollar Tree, um, some straight edges of some sort, sandpaper, and I am using one of my paint trays that I got at the Dollar Tree as well. And then I have like a cleaning cloth just to keep things tidy. But I think that is everything. Oh, and scissors. You'll need a pair of scissors to cut tags off. So let me flip you around. We're going to paint the bases of everything first. And then I will show you how we're going to attach the bunnies. All right. I took the first egg. I just put a coat of the white um, chalk paint down from Waverly. I get this at Walmart. <clears throat> and now I just want to blend because he's kind of brown, but I think that's too stark. I just want to blend some like of this green and gray colors in the background. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of this color here, which is moss green. And then I'm kind of off wiping a little bit of it. And I just want to really get it blended in here. Um, I, I'm going to do a lot of it, but not cover it, if that makes sense. I just want to kind of, you know, blend it up a little bit in here and get it a good background. And this is the Dollar Tree brush. It's doing pretty good. Um, if your paint is too thick, like my white was pretty thick, you can water it down a little bit. I find that this chalk paint, after it's been open, tends to dry up. That is just what I have found. But your mileage, you know, may vary. So I just want to get some of this, like, green color in here. Try to get it. Oop, that's way too much. Just don't want it to be overly full. And then, um, yeah, that's it. That's the background. I'm kind of going with this modeled look back here. And then I might take a little bit of this lighter green. This is a celery green. It's called from Waverly. And I'm just going to add a little bit of this in as well. I really just want a really earthy background to kind of go with this. I think this tone will be considered like a sepia tone of the bunny. Right? Like, I just want to blend. Just have fun with it, you know? It's going to be a lot of background color here. And this is a companion piece. So they're going to kind of be in the same color family, but not matchy-matchy, if that makes sense. So there's that. I really like this a lot. And then the only other 
color I may want to add in is a little yellow just to kind of brighten it up a little bit not a lot at all just a little bit and I'm almost using it as like a highlight and like we did with the pumpkins kind of shaping this egg how we want it to look and that is pretty much it for the color I'm gonna make a bow but I need this to dry and then we're going to put our bunny on there with some um, Mod Podge, I think. Yeah. And seal it up. We just need a little more color down here below. I'm going to put the bow on this one at the top. But we got that yellow paint in here. Just kind of want to schmooze it together, guys. I kind of am digging this different not necessarily farmhouse and then maybe just go back over with a little bit of the white so that is done this needs to dry before i can do anything to it so this one's done now the other one that i have what i've done let me get this paint off of here real quick having a cleaning cloth and some spray cleaner when you're dealing with paint is always a good idea to get it before it sets up especially chalk paint because it will cure there we go now on this one i took the ruler and i just drew some straight lines i don't know if i'll be able to get yeah there you go they are not even at all and they're not even straight but i'm going to do five different colors and then we're going to let that dry and sand it and then we're going to put our rusted looking signs up here so the colors i have are moss and celery i'm not sure which color we'll use ballet pink ballet slipper pink i have mineral which is a gray and i have maize which is the yellow and then i'm going to do a white on one of the sides probably i'll do the white here um i already have a brush with white on it so i am just going to follow these lines not perfect obviously and then what we're going to do after it's dry before we sand it is i'm going to take the marker pen and fill in um the lines so i'm just going to drop some paint down and let this dry because i can't do anything with it until that happens so I will paint it and I will show you what it looks like. All right, we are ready. This one is dry, the green. I love it. I'm gonna use some polycrylic Mim Wax. You can use anything you want, including um, Mod Podge would be perfect. I just have this. I had to cut down a um, you know, a foam brush because I like to throw these away after they've been in this. I don't want to use my good paint brushes. So I'm just putting this down, right? Getting it down. And then we're going to get the bunny, but I want him to be centered, right? Let's go this way so you can see. And so I'm just going to Stick them down and he'll stick to the um, acrylic right done just get them down there and then I'm going to seal it over the bunny just like that and you, you see the cream paper or it's beige background really but it's okay because it's just gonna blend in with the background that I've done and then we're going to let, and it kind of melts in when you get it wet with this, uh, ooh, yeah, be careful with whatever you're doing over the bunny because see, it's getting, which I'm okay with, but some of the ink is coming up. So you really just want to get it stuck and don't mess with it. But I'm kind of liking the darker background here from the ink 
it's, it's just kind of muddying the waters here a little bit, if you will. There. So I just have that down. I'm honestly just trying to get this little face to stick. There we go. And a quick wipe. You just want to make sure all of your um, sealer is down where it needs to be. Yeah, I really enjoy how it kind of darkened up the white. Now these wrinkles that you're seeing will dry flat. We're just going to let it go, and when it dries, they should flatten out. And then I made a bow, a very basic bow that's going to go up top on this one. But this sealant, it does have to dry overnight, so we're going to put it to the side, let it dry overnight, right? but that's how it's going to look. And you can use any picture that you want. He's a little crooked, but that's okay. But isn't that fun? And it just kind of blends into the background. And then we're going to put a bow at the top, like I said, once, once he dries. I don't know if I can reset, saturate, situate him. But I'm going to get him moved over and then I think think my other guy is almost dry enough to sand. All right, everything is dry. I waited till the next night just to make sure it was all dry. Um, I did take and painted the egg with the different colors. You can paint this any color scheme you want. I went with the white, the celery, pink. Uh, this is like a gray color and a yellow. And then I drew my lines and I wanna show you how I draw my lines. Super easy. This is actually a Dollar Tree paint marker. I use my straight edge to get a decently straight edge to it. Now watch. And if you like the look, you could totally leave it just like that. I'm just getting the marker off my ruler. And I got this ruler at the Dollar Tree too. It's a nice straight edge. But I don't like it looking so bright, that black. I want it to look more distressed because that's the look I'm going for. So I just took a sanding block and on the corner, I'm just sanding down some of the black paint. And it kind of just distresses on either side as well. Then I'm going to wipe it off. And that is it. That is how I got the egg to look semi-distressed. Um, sorry if I'm shaking the camera. And then you can, you know, sand it as much or as little as you want to give yourself that look. Right? Now, the um, how did I get these silver letters to look rusted? Super easy. Um, and a subscriber, her online name is rny.donna. Donna, I think it's Donna it will be your name, but I don't know. But you know who you are. You told me this. So I took my letters, laid them out. I painted them first with Mod Podge. Then I went over them with white chalk paint because this copper wouldn't have shown very good. But the Mod Podge helped it stick. Then I went over with white chalk paint. And finally, I went over with a coat of this metallic solid bronze two coats actually let it dry then i just dabbed on some like turquoise color and some brown to make it look rusty yeah i just kind of dabbed it on there so i have happy easter there's also blessing so Easter blessing. Now I will tell you, and I can see some more of it here, with the painting all the layers, I had to take my X-Acto and just kind of clean them up a little bit. Not anything crazy, but if you see here, there's some pieces that are big. There we go. So I got that cleaned off. I'm gonna use this X-Acto in a minute. These are mounting. Um, 
pieces of mounting tape from the Dollar Tree. But what I want to do, and I got these in the hardware section. And if you can see, they're pretty puffy. But I use my straight edge, and I'm going to cut, like, let's make them smaller. You can use your scissors, too. Because I'm going to need to get a new razor blade on this thing soon. But I think this will be fine. I can also go this way and just make some squares because these letters are small. Okay, I gotta turn it this way so I can make this one at least straight. But all I did is I took this mounting tape and I put it on the back of our letters and this says happy I'm gonna place it right there this stuff works really good for mounting these metal letters and then down here it's gonna say Easter right and then I made this tiny little bow out of twine nothing of any craziness And that's it. That's my little egg that I've made out of a Dollar Tree. And I'll give you a better view when we go downstairs. But it just says, Happy Easter. You could cover these, leave them silver, cover it, paint this black, put lights, put sparkles, whatever you want to do. I just wanted something kind of low-key for my two. Now look at this bunny. Is he not adorable? He is a little crooked on here, but again, I don't really care. So for this one, I remember I sealed them. And then I'm going to put this big old bow on him. And I think he's a boy bunny. If I have to ask, I'm going to say he's a boy bunny. Alrighty, let's get that bow up here. And that's about it on this. I will want to plump it up. I have those, um, oh, that's a wire. The Easter egg, or uh, carrots, we could possibly do something with as well. But that's our bunny with his little bow. And those carrots, or you could do some flowers around here, or put like EB under it, or just something sweet. But that's all I'm going to do with this guy. And I will take you downstairs and show you the finished product. Okay, here they are. Oh, I love them. My little bunny and my Happy Easter sign with the rusty Happy Easter. Of course, I still have winter up, but that's okay. I'll get to spring eventually. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, and my take on the two Easter eggs from the Dollar Tree. Have a good one. Oh, Dubby, do you want to say hi? What? Hi. He said bye.